Welcome back to your favorite YouTube series and mine. It is Nashville Shopping List. It's like the Home Shopping Network for cross-stitchers. <laughs> this is volume three and we have a hefty list to go through today. But first, check out this logo that I made. I'm gonna make stickers out of it and stick it in our Nashville orders. Nash Dash. My husband criticized this logo saying that Nashville is not known for electric guitars and I should really have replaced this with an acoustic guitar. And my response was my wife look. This look communicated to him that I do not really care what kind of guitar is supposed to be in the middle. I simply picked the guitar that was my favorite color. Vote down below whether you think I should replace my guitar or not. Can I leave it the cool aqua electric guitar or do I have to replace it with an acoustic guitar? Let me know before I order these stickers because they're going to come to your water bottle should you decide to order from Mindy Stitches. Vote down below. Which guitar? Although we all like the teal one better, don't we? Also, I forgot to do my giveaway from two videos ago because the videos are coming out so quickly I can't keep track of what I am doing. <laughs> the winner of the $25 Lindy Stitches gift card is Kathleen Love 649 who let me know that her favorite overdyed thread is Gentle Arts Old Red Paint. Very classy choice, Kathleen. Uh, please email me at steph at lindystitches.com and I will get that gift certificate to you. Let's do the same thing. Let's do it again. Woohoo! 25 gift card will go to a random winner bef in the next Nashville shopping list video. All you have to do is tell me what is number one? The number one pattern. You can pick one pattern of the patterns we have discussed so far. Tell me what is at the top of your list. You must have this from Nashville. If you only get one thing, tell me what it is down below. If you could use the words, my favorite pattern so far is, that would be great so that I know that you're entering the giveaway. And it's going anywhere in the world to people who like free money. <laughs> I hope the hackers don't search videos for the words free money or or I'm in trouble. Like I said, there is a lot to cover today. But first, what are you doing on Sunday night? Because I'm having a stitching party with Kathy of Hands On Design called the Superb Owl Stitch In. If you don't have a great party to go to and you don't have two brain cells that come together and love football, like myself, then join everyone else who loves stitching and doesn't care about football at the Superb Owl Stitch In. You'll get two patterns that are owl themed from Kathy and I. They're really cute, but we also have lots of awesome live entertainment. We have our whip speed dating, stitching tables, so you want to be a designer chat where we open up about all the things that you might want to know about starting your journey in designing cross stitch. We're going to do finishing consult tables. We are going to have a Bill versus Jason smackdown where our husbands go head to head to decide which one knows more and which one knows less about the world of cross stitch. And you should see the questions. It's going to be a riot. If you'd like to join us, the ticket link is down below. But do it quickly because Sunday will be here in a few breaths. Yes, it has only been four days since we last did a Nashville shopping list video. I am receiving three to four emails a day, sometimes more, and we are putting up our selections. I just want to say that there are a million things coming out. <laughs> we have to pick and choose like I have said. I just counted on the uh, needlework retailer website there are 138 vendors listed and let's do the math 138 vendors let's say the average items coming out from each vendor is five most vendors list more than five but we will be conservative with five items per vendor that would be listing 690 new items. I would guess that there was probably closer to a thousand new items coming out at Nashville. So like my previous videos have stated, due to our weird needs to sleep, eat, 
and do things other than list new items on the website, <laughs> we are being picky and choosy. But should you want a pattern or item that is not listed on our website, feel free to email our chief item lister, Jason at lindystitches.com, and he might be able to accommodate with you within a few minutes. He's known for being quick and efficient and lovely like that. So without further hammering on, buckle your seatbelts. Let's begin. First up, let's start with Annie B's. I have a feeling some of you might mention one of her releases as your most coveted item for Nashville. It's pretty high up there on my own personal wish list. It is her first book called 12 Days of Christmas. This is such, first of all, a reasonably a priced book. It has 12 absolutely mind-blowingly cute little tiny Christmas stockings on it for your tree covering the 12 days of Christmas. Now what I say when I mean it's a reasonable book, book is $20, which is a very reasonably priced book. We are listing single patterns that happen to cost $20 from other vendors, so I think this is super generous and lovely for Annie B's to price her book so reasonably. Can you believe how cute these are? They hurt my teeth just looking at them. They're so sweet. These are stitched on 14 count black Ada. Very kind, very generous. <laughs> the eyes for 14 count Ada to be so big and black. Am I losing my touch? Moving on. <laughs> Nanny B's next release is called Spring Green Pears. And if you've ever wanted to do one of these adorable little pear-shaped finishes, here you go. Annie gives you these three patterns. Uh, they're stitched using Dinky Dyes Pearl Silk. And the template and the finishing directions are, of course, included. Don't be scared. I think they're doable. Next up, Annie has two really lovely samplers coming out. The first one is called Down in the Valley. Uh, this has a lovely, beautiful folk art feel to it. I think the colors of this are absolutely stunning. They're so gentle and beautiful. The sampler measures 150 by 155, and it's stitched on 36 count Meadow Rue by Lakeside Linens. Her other sampler is called Many Mansions, and look at this, this is adorable. You know I'm loving these peacocks on the brick pillars on both sides of this house. So, so cute. It says, in my father's house there are many mansions. Um, that's of course from the Bible. This one's stitched on 36 count Dolly Madison Linen by Needle and Flax, and it's a little bit smaller than the previous, measuring 134 by 162. Absolutely beautiful. The last pattern we listed from Annie B's is called Busy Bee. How doth the little busy bee improve each shining hour? Very cute. This would stitch up very quickly, only 88 by 75, and it's stitched on 32 count salt rock linen by color and cotton. The large standing house that you see this finished on is from Chantel's 141 Design Company, meaning that you can go and pick that up anytime you finish this little sampler and finish it exactly like Annie did. Bravo, Annie. Absolutely stunning line. I love it. I'll be knocking on your door. Next up, we listed all of Sweet Wing Studios' new designs, starting with, let's go with my favorite. I absolutely love this goodness and mercy bird. It is just, you know, it's totally my jam. It's stitched on 32 count lamb's wool jobelin, and she used some classic color works, gentle arts, and there's a full DMC conversion um, included. It's just really cute and sweet, and how wonderful that would this be to like give to a friend or bring to a smalls exchange. Wonderful. Next up is Jason's favorite out of these selections from Sweet Wing Studio. This is a piece that has a C.S. Lewis quote on it, and Jason is a huge sucker for anything C.S. Lewis. This one says, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. Really, really cute, stitched on some artichoke linen by Wicholt, and finished using Chantel's 141. A Chantel's piece, so you can finish it exactly as you see here. Very easily, has classic color works and weeks dye works, 
and it's just a very sweet little piece. Next up is Golden Thread by Sweet Wing Studio. This one is pretty small, it's 62 by 90, and I couldn't help but notice that uh, Sweet Wing Studio's prices are super reasonable, and again, we all appreciate. 36 count winter moon linen uh, using a variety of threads. This would be a very quick stitch. If your friend just needs a little pick-me-up, they're going through a hard time, this would make a great card. It's just, it's really lovely. Next is for such a time as this, perhaps you were created for such a time as this. That is a quote from the book of Esther. And this is 104 by 57 on Lamb's Gold Jobelin. Um, yes, Sweet Wing Studio. They're just all about the encouragement, apparently. Next up is Only Once. Be a blessing while you may. Only once you pass this way. I like this one. It's very sweet. It kind of has a little bit of a 90s vibe, but the 90s are back, baby. <laughs> Lastly, we have uh, It Is Well, and this one has a very quilty look. It's 97 by 93. It's stitched on some Fiber Flare Lugana using classic color works, and it has the words of the very famous hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. I think this would be a very relaxing yet fun stitch because those colors look very calming but fun to work with. So that is Sweet Wing Studio. What do you think? Let's break up this pattern parade with a quick interlude down the Dinky Dyes Road. Dinky Dyes is releasing six new beautiful silk colors. Check these out. These are totally my jam. It has a little rainbow uh, theme to it. We have a beautiful selection of colors to add to your stash. Dinky Dyes silks are known for being super soft not tangly and easy to work with. They're a great introductory silk because they're uh, inex relatively inexpensive, but they're still super high quality. And these colors are luscious. You can pick up the, a set of this new palette. It includes sandstone, cardinal, blush, burnt orange, shortbread, and fern. Very lovely. Next up, a few designers that we just listed are favorite pattern out of their lines, but like I said, if you're interested in any of their other patterns you see that they've released, let us know. We decided to list Modern Botanical Wedding Sampler by Counting Puddles. We haven't carried Counting Puddles before, but I fell hard for this one. Look at the colors. I mean, wait a minute. That Dinky Dice palette. Yeah that would work. Love the oranges and the greens in this one, and of course it's fully customizable. You get a full alphabet and number set to customize this to yourself for a wedding anniversary um, or a gift. Love it. It's stitched on 28 count artichoke linen by Witchell. That's the second time artichoke linen has come up. What's with the artichoke this year? But it's so pretty, 163 by 167, so it's not ginormous, but it's also not small. It would make a very impressive gift. Very beautiful. And it's stitched in all DMC. Next up, a pattern we have sold quite a few copies of already. It's one of these great scenes from Praiseworthy Stitches. This is brand new for the market. It is called Sleigh Ride, and I love these scenes by Praiseworthy Stitches. They look so fun to stitch. I've never done one before. This one is so tempting. It has so many little interesting scenes that you get to stitch, and oh my gosh, look at that dog in the corner. Also, I love that Santa is like flying out of the frame. That's that's just great. This is a hefty piece, as most of the big scenes from Praiseworthy Stitches are. It's 251 by 229, and it's stitched on Picture This Plus Nocturne using a variety of over dies. Really, really adorable. From Silver Creek Samplers, we couldn't resist this one. This is called Day of Jubilee. Um, I love the feeling of this, and I love the colors. I am not a huge patriotic stitcher, but this is fantastic. I I love it. 
It's an exuberant celebration of freedom, and the this is supposed to be Harriet Tubman, and the date on the flag is actually uh, the year that Harriet Tubman escaped slavery alone through the uncharted and ever-changing marshlands of coastal Maryland. And of course we know it wasn't her last trip. I, I adore this piece. Stitched on 18 count sandy toes by Barefoot Needle Art using some over dyed flosses. Very, very lovely designing Diane. The other one we listed by Silver Creek Samplers was by request by one of our customers and Jason got it up within five minutes. <laughs> this is called Wings of Change. And it's beautiful. It has a um, beautiful monarch butterfly and caterpillars on it, uh, and I'm assuming that's milkweed since that's what they like to eat. The butterfly is proof that you and darkness can be transformed too. It took me five tries to read that, so uh, stay tuned for the bloopers. How are we not done already? <laughs> Moving on, uh, we listed three by Jan Hicks. Uh, we will be new to carrying Jan Hicks. First up is Arabesque, and this one seems to be doing well uh, with the shoppers. This is an Art Deco-ish contribution to the world of red samplers, so it has a little different feel than maybe a lot of other red samplers um, that you've seen. Jan says, this design started with the alphabet and it was so fun finding and developing motifs that had the same general feel. She loves the slightly as asymmetrical look of the mandala on the bottom left and the fan of the upper right. But the alphabet is the star of the show. This is 157 by 243 and it's stitched on 46 count. So I am gonna have to get to Jan Hicks room to see this beautiful sampler stitched on 46 count. Next up, a little less intimidating piece. Uh, this is called Fall Sunshine. Love the colors of this little pillow. Very vibrant and it's popping with just some fall joy. 79 by 88, stitched on 40 count dwarf by Picture This Plus. Last up by Jan Hicks, we have a sampler. This one is called Laura Vorgensen, 1853, and it is a beautiful sampler. Uh, apparently a German sampler. Laura was a very skilled stitcher. You've got some really pretty colors, and this was stitched on 40 count Cedar River linen in the color Overcast. But boy, she's a big one. She's 334 by 264. We have two more. We're going to cover Pansy Patch and Blueberry Ridge. Now, they both released a whole line of patterns, but we only listed one for each. If you're interested in their other patterns, please let us know. Um, from Pansy Patch, we selected I'm a Sucker for the Baskets. This is Betsy's Easter Basket. I, I love this so much because it's spring-esque, but it's not like those super muted, typical, in my opinion, and in my opinion, sometimes boring spring colors. This is punchy, it's fun, it's funky. I love it. Beautiful job, Lori. Beautiful. The Betsy's Basket series, we have the other Betsy's Baskets on the website. There is a Christmas basket, a Halloween basket, and a spring basket that was released last year. This is the Easter basket, and it might be my favorite. And then from Blueberry Ridge, who is the daughter of Lori of Pansy Patch, uh, we decided to list All Hallows Eve. This is a really fun, very colorful uh, Halloween sampler full of festive uh, motifs. It's stitched on 40 count Wallaby by number 12 Stitch Co. I think we are seeing a greater variety of hand dyed linens used than ever before. I think it's exciting and fun. Awesome. So Emily is the name of Lori's daughter and this is her first in Nashville. So way to go Emily. Uh, a great, a great first shebang at Nashville. This one is 226 by 163. That's it for volume three. Are you keeping up with me? Are you enjoying the series? Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. What is number one on your list for a chance to win a $25 Lindy Stitches gift card? 
Also remember, it costs you nothing to create a Nashville wish list on my website if you want to just keep tabs on the different things that you're slightly interested in. Whether you're on a no buy or you're going to totally splurge on Nashville releases, I'm totally here for you. I think every piece of cross stitch that we create is important and it matters. Art is therapy and we all need our hobbies. They're very important. And so I hope that even if you are on a no buy, these videos have re-inspired you for your own projects and the things that you're working on. I know that window shopping sometimes just scratches that itch I need to get re-inspired and to fall in love with the things that I've already purchased. So hopefully this these videos aren't too overly consumeristic, um, but that we're just excited about our industry. We're excited about uh, the things that the de designers we love have created and put out into the world to make it just a little bit more beautiful. So, I wonder how many days it will take for us to build up volume four. I'll be back probably before you even want to see me. Until then, <laughs> happy stitching, friends. So without further ado, this one is, says the butterfly is proof that, oh my gosh, it says the butterfly is proof that in dark, you, oh, I'm just wondering if I have any chia seeds stuck in my teeth. The butterfly is proof that you in darkness can transform, oh my gosh. The butterfly is proof that in darkness can, the list we have to cover today is hefty. Hefty reminds me of my nickname that I got on the school bus, you know, hefty hefty cinch sack, the garbage bag company. My parents received a promotional duffel bag from Hefty, and it said Hefty on the side. And the kids decided to call me Hefty Steffi when I used it one day. That's enough about my childhood trauma. <laughs>